obviously been following these talks for a little while now. I think you said this is your fifth yeah, session. I think it's my fifth, yeah. So, um, do you see a sense of progress here? Uh, I don't know, I've heard. I've been speaking to some of the trackers, and we were sitting in a meeting, and uh, they were kind of. Uh, they'll go, oh, I think I've heard this before. You know, this this disagreement between the countries, or this yeah. kind of this intractable issue. Um, over the sense of these five sets of talks, uh, are, you, are you left feeling optimistic, or, or simply drained by by the process? Well, um. Both, I guess. Uh, drained is, is definitely, that's a consistent thing. Um, I've noticed that uh, for these two-week sessions, um, and, e and even in the one-week session, about three-quarters of the way through, I'm really depressed. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that has uh, more to do with the, 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 what's actually going on in the talks or with my sort of work you know, nutrition, life balance, you know, that's all out of whack because I've been staying up till three and, and working and getting up at seven and showing up at meetings and stuff like that and, and that just wears on you. So uh, I think leading up to Copenhagen, every time um, we went to an intersessional, uh, I came away r really depressed and distraught, feeling like a lot, of, uh, a lot of the energy was focused on Copenhagen and not enough of it was focused on the lead up to Copenhagen. Um, a lot, lot of money went into like, oh, we're going to do this big media thing in Copenhagen, this in Copenhagen. And consistently, every single time uh, these guys met, they fell short of, of where they needed to go. So every time, um, we, we wouldn't shrink the text enough. We wouldn't shrink the text enough. We wouldn't shrink the text enough. You know, we, we have all these sort of differences of opinion in brackets in the uh, text, negotiating text. And the goal is to pick one or to change the wording so that you can so you don't have a bracket so if you have a bracket that's a problem and I think we came to Copenhagen with hundreds of brackets uh, and that and that really killed this and it wasn't enough to it wasn't an, they weren't close enough together to get something done and uh, and that was happening all along and it was just killing me to watch that and that was consistent after Copenhagen it, it's been a bit changed um, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I know that my country, the United States, um, uh, the biggest thing holding us back, and I think in turn the, the LCA track, the talks, uh, probably everything else, was uh, the, the lack of a bill, U.S. legislation. So, um, so uh, I feel like we're moving on that now. Um, of course, I felt like we were moving on that last year too, and we didn't. So I'm, I'm cautious. But I just wanted to respond to you saying that um, you know getting rid of these brackets. And oh, Jamie and I were, were in a meeting uh, with the adoption negotiator um, uh, representatives yesterday with Vivo de Boer, right. and uh, uh, one of the uh, trackers said she was going to play uh, word, association word association with him, yeah, and she yeah. said uh, brackets, and he said less of them, and then she said uh, trackers, and he said more of them. So yeah, you've right. you've obviously got support um, at, at that level. Um, so there's there's clearly a feeling that that there. You know, this is an effective um, tool for getting getting the word out and for, for helping people make these talks more accessible. Yeah. So that was uh, one thing I just wanted to, to pick up on. This is nice to hear. The, the second thing was uh, maybe slightly less optimistic. The, the um, you mentioned uh, these brackets and how the, the text doesn't seem to move forward much. And, and we've heard news this week that um, you know, after coming into the talks, and you know, a lot of the discussion was around the importance of getting a negotiating text. And now we're hearing maybe we won't have one uh, come out this week at all. You know, maybe maybe um, uh, you know the whole purpose of getting the countries here was to agree a new text that would, would form the basis for Mexico. And all of a sudden, maybe maybe that's happening in August. So, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of laughing because um, because the whole sort of one of the purposes of our project, kind of the whole purpose is that is that even though this whole process is accessible in a lot of ways. It's inaccessible because of the acronyms and all you know all the learning that it takes just to understand what's going on, and it sounds like maybe the chair of of this this um, negotiating track that that is that we're looking for a text from is going to release probably what's called a non-paper, <laughs> and that's and that's just sort of a ridiculous term eh, to me. I, like a non-paper. What's a non? I don't know. Anyway, and I I think. Basically, it's it's something that she can put out, and um, people can react to. But it's not sort of committing anybody to a course forward. It's just something she can people can react to it. Um, so I think we'll see a non-paper uh, that takes a, that that accounts for a lot of the discussion that that's happened that that's been constructive.
I think, over the last two weeks. Um, and uh, I, I don't think we're going to see sort of positions on the non-paper aired in like a plenary or something like that in, in the hall in the negotiations. I think that, that um, the chair probably wants room for parties to, to connect while they're here, for the different countries, negotiators to talk amongst themselves. And that's really important. And it's a big, big part of what, what happens here is the stuff that even us being here, don't, we don't get to see. Um, so, they'll, so they'll sort of react and, and start talking um, and maybe begin conversations uh, and work together, trying to make progress so that when we do come back together in, in uh, August, um, you know, hopefully there is a text uh, that, that we can move forward on. But uh, it has been constructive, I think. I mean, she's been asking, it's a bit of a different process. She's been like asking five <laughs> questions for every sort of agenda item every hour or whatever. She'd be like, okay, we have an hour. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. And then the, the different countries say what they think. And often we, we've seen like a lot of differences, big gaps in the opinion. But, but it's also often in some cases, um, we've seen people pretty closely aligned or, or putting forward some indicators for where they compromise, stuff like that. I realize now, after all of this, that this is a really insanely slow process. I realize now that a lot of the really important stuff happens domestically or bilaterally or multilaterally outside of this process. And I think increasingly that's the case. Um, uh, and I realize that uh, this is our best shot still, um, and I'm, I'm more confident in this, in this view, to bring it all together in one fora where we can, where we can see, uh, here's the mark, two degrees, one and a half degrees, how far are we from the mark, um, who's doing what, and we can put pressure on uh, the folks who, uh, who aren't living up to what they need to do. Um, and we can support the folks who are who have the, that intention, but maybe not the resources. Um, and then we can uh, discuss and, and come up with plans of action, and, and then deal with um, the folks who are who are already being affected and inevitably gonna, are going to be more affected um, by climate change that we can't stop. You know that it's too late to stop. So this is a great forum for that as well. So I guess if, if this is going to remain uh, the forum where these discussions continue, hopefully Adopt a Negotiator will, will continue to be here and continue to be tracking them. Uh, so maybe I can just finish by asking you to uh, you know, share the website address with our viewers, yeah, make, sure, make sure they know where to go there. Uh, and yeah. also, uh, do you have any plans for the, for the kind of coming uh, talks or is this something that, you know, fingers crossed you'll, you'll be there? Yeah, uh, it's, it's a bit more of a fingers crossed situation. <laughs> um, we, we got uh, a bunch of really dedicated people and we're stoked to bring them back and to grow and to have more voices. I think that that's going to make us stronger as uh, narrators and connectors. Um, Adoptanegotiator.org. Uh, yeah, we, Earth visiting. <laughs> and uh, we got, we got a, a small but amazing team here and we'd love to uh, hear your comments, get your questions and react. Maybe go find some answers if, um, if you guys tune in before the end of the talks on Friday. Okay. Josh, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'll uh, hand back to uh, Anurada and Danny who are in our UK studio.